What do you want to do for dessert? I think there's still half a cake from breakfast. Choices, choices, choices. Are you a pie person? A cookie connoisseur? Maybe it's pudding that will have you doing a double take. Well, if you take dessert seriously, get ready to hit the buffet and satisfy that sweet tooth. Here are 10 Golden Corral desserts you can't resist. I couldn't resist. Apple pie. You've never had apple pie? When you think of Golden Corral, it's probably the classics that come to mind first, like pot roast, bourbon street chicken, and the timeless pot pie. But what often flies under the radar is the sweet satisfaction of delicious desserts that you get to enjoy after your buffet feast. Yes, Golden Corral offers three square meals a day with breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffets, but irresistible desserts are the hidden secret. And one of the most mouth-watering offerings is the classic apple pie. As a national staple, it would almost be considered treasonous not to indulge in a slice. Wow, that good, huh? A 2008 survey by the American Pie Council showed 36 million Americans list apple pie as their favorite, which translated to 19% of the total people surveyed. Maybe most of them are located in Vermont, who formally adopted apple pie as their official state pie in 1999. The American Pie Council's personality chart also suggested apple pie lovers are compassionate, independent, and realistic. Who knew pies were a replacement for astrology? When it comes to after-dinner action, the only thing written in the stars is making a beeline for a slab of Golden Corral's scrumptious apple pie. You just graduated pie school, b Sorry I said b I'm just really worked up. Pumpkin pie. I'm making you a pumpkin pie. I gotta smash up the inside. If apple pie fills you with feelings of hot summer nights and cool scoops of ice cream, then its pumpkin counterpart surely makes you think of fall and winter festivities. But when you're at Golden Corral, pumpkin pie should only make you think about how much you want another slice. Remember that American Pie Council survey? The second place finisher on that list of favorites is also in good company as a Golden Corral dessert. Pumpkins themselves are native to North America, and legend has it pumpkin pie first debuted as an American holiday tradition at the Pilgrim's second Thanksgiving in 1623. That makes it both tasty and traditional. So maybe it's not as iconically American as its apple pie cousin, but it's pretty darn close. This close! Larry, you're this close! You're angry. We recommend the next time you're at Golden Corral, you do the patriotic thing and get a slice of each. Trust me, bro. Chocolate chip cookies. Yes, I'd like a chocolate chip cookie. Let's keep painting the Golden Corral red, white, and blue, since another one of their irresistible desserts is also part of the long-standing tradition of great American desserts. Golden Corral offers a rotating assortment of cookies in its dessert lineup, but the only constant is the golden brown chocolate chip. As long as baking has existed, there have been cookies in all kinds of delicious shapes and sizes, but the chocolate chip cookie is a relatively young invention, and one from right here in the U.S. of A. Cookie. Ruth Graves Wakefield was the in-house chef at the Tull House Inn in Wakefield, Massachusetts. And in 1938, she presented the innkeeper and guests with her new invention. Using chopped up chocolate bits from a Nestle bar to add the all-important chips, the recipe eventually struck Ruth a deal with the Nestle company to print the baking instructions on every wrapper in exchange for a lifetime supply of chocolate. The national hit then became a global phenomenon when America American GIs in World War II shared their cookies with other soldiers. Soon, the humble chocolate chip cookie was America's greatest export. Just remember, the next time you're at Golden Corral, you're not only munching on dessert, you're holding a piece of history. Legend? Wait for it. Dairy! New to Babbletop? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? It'll give you something to do while standing in the buffet line. Thank you. Next! Chocolate dipped fountain skewers. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. From a dessert with chocolate on the inside to a dessert soaked in chocolate on the outside, Golden Corral keeps the hits coming. If you've ever seen any of the Willy Wonka movies, you'll know what we mean regarding the dangers of industrial-sized chocolate fountains. But don't fret, there's nothing to worry about the Golden Corral-sized ones, and we'll give them the Babbletop stamp of safety, especially since the chain has upgraded the sanitation procedures, keeping curious hands and fingers and whatever else out of the open airflow of liquid goodness. Technically, the foods designated for dipping in the fountains have always been limited to pre-assembled skewers. But most of us have seen customers do some questionable experimentation over the years with plenty of other items. The fountain itself is now off-limits to customers, set behind a plexiglass shield where glove-wearing staff members are more than happy to safely dunk your desserts. You shall 
will not pass! While a gleaming coating of chocolate sounds like it would be a great addition to almost any dessert, Golden Corral officially lists the three available fountain options as chocolate-dipped fresh strawberry skewers, chocolate-dipped Rice Krispies treat skewers, and chocolate-dipped marshmallow skewers. Eating some marshmallows, care for one? <laughs> fudge brownies. I hear Angela's party will have double fudge brownies. Despite the restaurant's North Carolina roots, Golden Corral now has locations in 40 different states, even as far as Anchorage, Alaska. But letting go of your roots can be a tall task no matter how far you go. Surveys from the Betty Crocker brand suggest Americans consume 4 billion brownies every year. But brownies, just like Golden Corral, are enjoyed all across the land. Ooh, brownie! Some legends trace the origin of the brown baked treat to Illinois, a state where today Golden Corral has 17 locations serving up buffet brownies. The brownie legend specifically traces back to 1893 and a pastry chef at a Chicago hotel, although the actual name brownie first appeared three years later in a cookbook published in Boston, Massachusetts in 1896. Today, there's only one Golden Corral in Massachusetts, but you can absolutely find fudge brownies on the dessert table. No matter the exact origins of fudge brownies or the exact places where they're enjoyed, as long as you can find a golden corral, you can find a sweet brownie for dessert. Just some brownies of the pot variety. Carrot cake. Ingredients. Carrot. The Corral offers its fair share of vegetable dishes, too. Highlights include the campfire vegetable medley, tempura battered squash, and fresh steamed green beans. Our preferred method of vegetable intake at the buffet, though, is via the dessert menu, specifically getting our daily recommended dose of carrots through the classic carrot cake. It's one of those timeless cakes that people just can't get enough of, but depending on your luck, it might end up being Golden Corral itself telling you when enough is enough. Enough! is enough! A 2023 viral TikTok video featured competitive eater and TikToker Mo Mbenge filling up for more than an hour and a half at his local corral when staff started to debate whether he had, in fact, had too much to eat. According to Mo, some staff went as far as to specifically mention he exceeded his daily food limit. While Mo was never officially booted out, it does beg the question of whether or not you can have, as the chain specifies, all you can eat. Maybe the best way to avoid snarky staff is to take advantage of corrals to go, take out, or catering options so you can enjoy as much irresistible carrot cake as you want away from the prying eyes of the management. Are you sneaky? Bread pudding. This bread pudding is extra runny tonight. If you've had your fill of the buffet line and are thinking about limiting yourself to a light dessert, this is not the one. There's one Golden Corral dessert that's as heavy on satisfaction as it is on carbs, bread pudding. This heavy hitter of a dessert isn't light and flaky or soft and cakey, but that doesn't mean you can't find room for it after you've hit the main buffet. Room for dessert? Bread pudding dates back to 11th century England, but has stood the test of time as a top-of-the-chart comfort food. And you might even consider it eco-friendly, since to maintain the shape, bread pudding repurposes day-old dinner rolls as its primary ingredient. We do recommend this bready beast as a saving the best for last move, since a half cup serving packs plenty of sugar and almost 300 calories. Translation, after this irresistible dessert, you won't be able to resist a nap either. I need to eat 10,000 calories a day to maintain muscle mass. Fruit cobbler. Cobblers. Cobblers. We need cobblers. Sometimes the best strategy is keeping it simple, and bread pudding's minimalist ingredients have company at the buffet in that regard. The simple and satisfying fruit cobbler. The North American version of fruit cobbler traces back to colonial America, with settlers modifying the concept from its European roots due to a lack of ingredients in the New World that they otherwise had easy access to back home. The basic combination of fruit, dough, and sugar lives on today in the modernized corral cobbler. Golden Corral offers three varieties of cobbler, cherry, apple, and peach. And in keeping with the chain's southern roots, peach is a very popular seller, with peach cobbler historically becoming a traditional southern staple in the late 19th century. As such, it's a big hit since so many corral outlets are located in the south. The chain's most occupied states include nearly 20 in Georgia, nearly 30 in its home state of North Carolina, nearly 50 in Florida, and over 50 locations in Texas. 
Texas. Check out my belt buckle. It says everything's bigger in Texas. But no matter where you're enjoying that Golden Corral cobbler, everyone knows it's not the same without one special frozen addition. And we need ice cream. Ice cream. Lick, lick, lick. It's an ice cream cone. A cool scoop of ice cream takes fruit cobbler to the next level. But come on, there are very few things on this planet that ice cream doesn't improve. Just like cobbler, ice cream's North American origins also stretch back to the colonial era. Presidents from George Washington to Thomas Jefferson and James Madison were all professed ice cream aficionados, along with founding father Benjamin Franklin. In modern times, it's one of the best options you can get for a dessert that isn't a disastrous option for your health. A half cup suggested serving size of vanilla soft serve ice cream rolls in with about 100 calories, which is surprisingly far less than some of the other irresistible desserts on our list. Not bad. Not bad. Golden Corral offers the option of vanilla or chocolate soft serve, ice cream in a cone, and select locations that have cones hand dipped into the chocolate fountain. So no matter how you choose to do it, you can always keep your cool. Don't mind if I do. Honorable mention, sweet corn pudding. His favorite food is corn. Go ahead and give this video a quick like, as we've got one Golden Corral delicacy that didn't quite make it. And it's only an honorable mention because it's so confusing. We're not entirely sure if it qualifies strictly as a dessert. Technically classified by Golden Corral's website as a hot dinner side, sweet corn pudding literally has sweet in its name and is versatile enough to not be confined to a single category. Another part of the chain's southern roots, sweet corn pudding is cornbread adjacent and goes by many names that only confounded our attempts to define it, including pudding corn, spoon bread, and hoppy glop. But the one thing we can call it for sure is delicious. They're very good. Part subtly sweet dessert and part savory dinner sidekick, it's a wonderful combination of rich creaminess and corn crunchiness. It's sweet enough that it certainly could function as the final course of your buffet journey. But that light level of sweetness also makes it an excellent complement to saltier entree dishes. It's hard not to classify anything named pudding as not a dessert, so we'll still call it irresistible, but the jury's out on the official designation of dessert. Now for the final corral dessert on our list. I bet you I can guess what it is. Banana pudding. I'm very high in potassium. Like a banana. Our final entry sticks with the pudding theme, but we know exactly how to define this one. Aside from sweet corn pudding, Golden Corral does offer several puddings actually designated under the dessert menu, including pistachio pudding, chocolate pudding, and the bread pudding that we covered. The leader of the pack, though, just might be the one that drives your taste buds bananas. Pun intended. With a smooth and creamy texture, Golden Corral's banana pudding has a rich and sweet taste that doesn't overwhelm you with sugar. And and it tastes like actual bananas, not the artificial taste you get in some candies and ice creams. You'll also likely be so full from the rest of the buffet that you won't have any room for dessert guilt. Because really, the only thing you should need to worry about at any Golden Corral buffet is how many servings you can carry with only two hands. You're goddamn right. Take a bite out of more great videos. Just tap or click, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.